Rockhaven custom bag. Got a few more Hot Wheels and M2s and a few other things I've got over the last couple of days. So stay tuned, I'll show you what I got. So I did a video and I lost some of the footage on it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the uh, Roadrunner that I was wanting to do the, the Pro Street look on. I lost part of the footage to it. Don't know what happened to it. So I'll just show you a before and after on it. So I did get to uh, mess with that a little bit yesterday for a few minutes. Got it like I wanted. Um, so, been uh, this week, been really busy and haven't had time to do much, um, but I did get a chance to go out and go to a few places and pick up a few more items. So, let's get into uh, what else I've picked up uh, this past few days, and um, hopefully that'll be the end of my buying spurt for a little bit and we can kind of start getting into doing some customs on this and i still got the f-350 and the john deere that i i need to get back on so my kids are gone for the week rest of the week um they won't be back till uh well actually my oldest will be back tomorrow he's gone to a friend's house tonight and he'll leave go back to his mom's um tuesday so Maybe Tuesday afternoon I can uh, get something back up on probably the F-350, get back on it if, if time permits, if I got time. But let's get into uh, what I picked up in the last couple of days and show you what I've got in mind for them. So um, let's start off with this. This is I went to Walmart today to do a little shopping and get some necessities or whatever but i always got to hit up the toy aisle and these was um just sitting there and just had to pick them up so let me get them all out here so these are the um the m2 gasser set um that's a 66 dodge charger gasser pretty cool little ride Got some purple flake in it with uh, the silver on it. So I got that one, picked that one up. So I'll set it over here. Then we got a 67 Chevy Nova, Nova Gasser. It's a competition cam car. It's got the ladder bars on it, little hood scoop on it. It's got the blue, old school blue tin on the windows. Or actually, I'll take that back. That is the interior. That's a clear glass car, but it's just blue interior. So this is one of the gassers in that set. Now let me look at something real quick. I was looking to see if it had slicks on the back of these, but they don't. They're just a, just a standard size tire. Uh, now this one is, this is a uh, 66 Charger gasser. This is a blue metal flake with a black racing stripe. Um, it's got a Hemi in it. I guess it's a blown Hemi. Quick draw. Of course, this one does have the slicks on the back. Pretty car. I like the, the blue on it. That's a real pretty color. Then we got a, a 57 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And this is like a candy red with a black vinyl top, hard top. And it does have the slicks in the back with skinnies up front. Got the gold mags on it. It's a pretty car. Hilburn injected. So let's see. I got to look in the camera where I can set that. 
Then we got a 67 Chevy Nova gasser. And this is uh, also got the slicks in the back. It's kind of a hugger orange flake, metal flake, as you can see in the picture. It's, um, it's helper injected too, I guess is what that would be. I'm not sure if the hood opens on these or not, but it does, that's pretty cool. It does have the, the tank on the front. That's pretty neat. Got the lighter bars. And the last one of the bunch is a 66 Ford Mustang gasser. Fastback. Black. The blue stripe. And it does have the slicks in the back. It does have the tank on the front. I guess all these have a tank on the front. Yeah, they do. So I like that one too. So I was like, well, might as well pick up the whole set. And then went to... Um, the Hot Wheel bin. Got an Audi RS S Coupe. Pretty nice little car. Set that over there. Got a Volkswagen Golf GTI. I like the red rims on that. That was a pretty cool one. Like I said, I'm not a yellow fan, but I may repaint this um, a different color and leave the Hot Wheels wheels on it. I, they're pretty neat with the red stripe on it. Red interior, that'd look good black, or some kind of pearl black. I'll set them right there. Got a uh, Range Rover, all in black. I do. I did get the silver one, and I just like the black one. It's a little cleaner, so pick that up. Like I said, I'm not into um, all these weird looking cars. I try to stick with a car that's more realistic. Let me get these out of the bag here. So I ain't kind of dig through them. We've got a 68 Chevy Nova. It's got the camouflage with the uh, sharp mouth on it. Pretty cool little ride. Got the Hot Wheels logo on the back. Got a 95 Mazda RX-7. Thought that was a really nice little casting. I like the gold wheels on it. It's pretty, pretty neat. I don't know if I'll repaint that one or not. That one's just, it's just a clean little car. Tesla Model 3. It's just a red. I'm not crazy about the wheels. Then we got a, uh, a 98 Subaru. I think I already have one of these. I picked one up last week, but I can do a repaint. I'd like to go wheels on it. They look, for a Hot Wheels wheel, they look pretty good. Um, they're, uh, I'd say the same as that wheel. I think that's kind of what draw me, draws me in on these cars is, you know, Starting to buy wheels and stuff, it's gonna get expensive. So you try to find something with um, some decent wheels on it already. Got a 69 Charger, the Hot Wheels theme. You always gotta do the shake, of course. I've kind of got to where I know, um, you know, which ones are the treasure hunt and super treasure. Then we've got a 64 Nova Gasser. Be a cool little project to do something with or just leave it as is. Then we got a 17 Nissan GTR R35. This is the um oh Godzilla or I can't even say pronounce how they say that on there. I'm not a fan of the green and gray, but it's cool casting. Like I said, I try to get these that are more realistic. Lamborghini Roaster. It's a convertible car. I think it could be something pretty neat out of that. So that's that bag. 
This was also the place where I picked up a lot last week. Um, a little flea market here in town. and um, They're not too bad on their prices. If you buy more than one, you seem like you get a little bit better deal. Here's a 16 Mercedes M AMG GT3. Pretty cool little ride. Set him over here. Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Decent wheels on it. Um, don't think that'd need too much to uh, change it up to make it look pretty cool. Might just leave them wheels and just do some paint work. Um, this is a showstopper. Um, it looks more like a Nissan of some sorts. Um, let me get the price tag off so you can see the whole car. I don't want to take it out of package just yet. I'm going to try to figure out a way to hang these up in my toy room until I can get to it. And like I said, I, I think I'm going to start uh, stripping a bunch down and just do repaints on them. Same casting, whatever. No, I can't get it. I got a dollar for it, but it's got um, the uh, carbon fiber look hood on it. I'd say it's a Nissan of some sort. I'm not sure. I'm not a real big foreign person, but you know, when you get into these exotic cars, whatever, they most of them are that. Like I said, I'm big on my muscle cars, but um, this is probably a Toyota or Nissan. I'm not sure what it is, but somebody can leave a comment if they know what it is. I thought it was pretty cool. It looks kind of like that a little bit maybe no maybe a Subaru I don't know like I said I'm not much on knowledge on the porn stuff but you know I thought it's a cool little casting we got a Nissan Skyline GTR R32 that's the Gran Turismo edition It's just got plastic wheels on it, tires. Um, here's another Gran Turismo Renault. McGann Trophy. I don't know how to spell half, say half of all that, but it's a pretty neat little casting. Now, I do know what this is. This is a OA Challenger SRT8. I know my muscle cars. <clears throat> my girlfriend just bought a brand new 2019 right before all this Corona hit. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to do a little casting of hers. And um, that way she can put it inside her car and have a toy version of it or something. Then we got a 2016 Cadillac ATS DR. Like I said, I kind of like these little supercars or whatever they are. It's got the wings on the back. They're just kind of neat looking. I'll put him back here behind the gases. Then we got a, let's see here. This is an old GTS-1. This is an older car. I just kind of like the casting on it. Like I said, it's just got that supercar look to it. I ain't crazy about the graphics on it, but 
trying to see what it was. It don't really say anything on it, but got that one. 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Now this one, I really liked it. I like the black wheels with the red rim, red ring on it. It's kind of like, um, well, let me see here. It's kind of like the Volkswagen, I guess you'd say, how it's got the ring on it. They're not too bad of a wheel look um, for, I'm trying to find the other one that had the, the red, I guess that was the only one. <clears throat> I like that casting. It's it's a cool little car. Then we got a 88 Honda CRX. That was just to me just a cool casting with the black. It was just simple, clean, nothing really. Just a cool little casting. And you know, when you're doing display and stuff, you always need some cars to go on your display to you know, put on a road scene or any, you know, any parking lot or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's just another reason to have other stuff besides tractors and semis and trucks and that kind of stuff. This one I got off of eBay. Um, I was hunting for one and I haven't even opened it. And here is I'm cracking the box open. But this is one that's kind of getting hard to find. And uh, they come in a protective pack. Um, this one will stay in the package. Um, I may try to find some of these protective packs just for this. But there's an 83 Chevrolet Silverado. This one's getting kind of hard to find. I just, I'm a lime green fan and anything lime green it kind of reminds me of, um, I still got all these from where I did the unboxing the other day. Um, here it is. This uh, Mazda. I like green. They just look cool and everything. So that will go in a cabinet. I won't do nothing with it. Save it. Maybe one day it'll be worth some money. And then the last box bag. My own bagging is another 83 Chevrolet. Um, I'll probably keep this one put up too because I only have one. So, uh, not that I'm a Chevrolet guy, but these are apparently going to be sought after vehicles. So, I'm going to try to start collecting some of them. And if I've got multiples, I'll do something with it. And if I don't, um, I don't know. This. I picked up two of these because they was just hit the lot at Walmart, and I thought they was pretty cool. Um, it's got a 1988 Ford Mustang GT Custom, 1988 Ford GT Custom, and a 1987 Mustang GT Custom. Is what it says. To me, it looks like a standard Fox body on that one. That one's I'd consider that a custom. It's got some slicks on it with a twin turbo. And then we got the other custom. It looks like it's got some slicks on it. And I ain't crazy about the paint on that one, but I'm not an orange or yellow fan, but anyways, like I said, I've got two of these. Um, as the channel continues to grow, this may be something else that I picked up just for a giveaway item. I'm not sure yet, but uh, these are Walmart exclusive uh, pieces. So, um, I think the, huh, I don't know. I may, I don't know, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope everybody's had a great Father's Day. Uh, I was waiting until this afternoon. My littlest one, he went back to his mom's. And then my oldest one, like I said, went to one of his buddies' house. So I had a few minutes to come down and and uh, shoot a little quick video. And like I said, I've got the the chart, the Challenger, or not the Roadrunner, 
Sandy Roadrunner I did, I'll put some pictures up here and y'all can take a look of it. And um, like I said, hopefully this week we'll be back on the F-350. I did make a bumper for it. Um, I've had a few people ask um, how I built it and everything. So we can do, uh, I can kind of show you how I did it and everything and go from there. So hope everybody's had a good weekend. Hope everybody has a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll see you later on this week.